Okay, so here's where we left off. The next thing we're going to do is make the little metal piece up the middle. So I'm going to go to my model quad and get me a new mesh here. And I'm going to get me a cylinder with 24 sides. And I'm going to go in here and draw one out. I want to make the radius about 18 millimeters by 18 millimeters. Move her back here into place. And let me bring it out like so. Now we have the beginnings of our little body so let's go to polygon mode and select the end. I'm going to hit the X key to begin an extrude and let's bring this out and up like this that looks pretty good right there let's hit the shift and click again and I'm going to bring this up like so. I'm going to make it pretty sharp like that. And then I'm going to hit the E key. Kind of rotate this a little bit. Just a little. And I'm going to go in here and select this edge and rotate it to even out that size there. And we'll do the same thing to this one up here when we get it extruded some more. So let's grab this end polygon. Let's hit the X key and I'm going to work from down here and I'm going to bring it up like this. Like so. I'm hit the shift and click and I'm going to bring it up like this. Now let's go in and fix our edges a little bit here. Let's go to our edge mode. And rotate this. A little bit there like that. Let's do the same thing here. Just to make those a little more even there. Okay. Let's not looking too bad there so let's go ahead now and I'm gonna cut this out go back to my seat and paste it so I can line up my seat with my bar here so we go back to our full model view so I can see what's going on Okay, I'm not sure if you guys can see that as good as I can here right up close to me. So, let me move this around in here. Okay, now I need to make a piece that comes from in here, so that's not a problem. Let's go ahead and grab a cylinder real fast and draw one out. Looks pretty pretty good there. Okay. Let's bring this up and put it into position. That looks okay, I guess. Now I'm going to bevel this end here in like this. Shift click, bevel it in again. Shift click. I'm going to bring my seat down like so. Maybe bring it out a little like this. Then I'm going to go ahead and re-bevel this. And bring it out. Shift click. Bring it down. Shift click. Bring it in. Shift click and bring it down. Okay, let's select it. Move it up. Let's grab our seat. Kind of roughly line it into place here. Now that we got those, let's go ahead and shift click both of them. We can position both of them and I want to move this back. Yeah. 
and bring it down like so if you want you can experiment with the positioning of this stuff it's really up to you this is not rocket science and this has not got to be a working model this is just for you know looks and product shots and stuff this is not this doesn't have to be a working model so there's no really big details that needs to be done so let's loop slice this up a little I'll put a loop slice there there make sure it's symmetry count of two One there, we're just putting one around all these and bracing them up like we normally would. Now, I guess we need to line her up. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and Let's see here, get rid of this mesh. There we go. Now we've got our little pole there. And don't worry about all this stuff. We're going to line all this stuff up and, and make it look better. And on the end, we're just roughly laying our tricycle together. For now, as you can see, we got some mistakes in here that we want definitely want to correct it's a little better but I don't want to get too involved with the details as of right now because we're worried about just getting her laid down the basic laid down here so there's our little body and when we continue on we'll start up here and do the handlebars and the front wheel and stuff I noticed we had just a couple more minutes, so let me go ahead and make the front of this real quick by grabbing a cylinder. And we'll go to my model quad view here, open this back up. And I'll draw the cylinder about right here. Make it, I don't know, 38 millimeters by 38 millimeters. Like so. And we'll pull it up like this. It's a little big for my taste. We'll make it 35 millimeters. Okay, spacebar drop the tool. Let's go ahead and shift click these two ends and bevel them in. Or out, I'm sorry, bevel them out like that. Shift click again, we'll take them up. Shift click again and bevel them in. Shift click again and bevel it in. Now, let's put this into place really fast. A little big for my taste. Okay, there will be our pivot mechanism for our tricycle. So here we are on step three. I hope you all have learned something and we'll continue on in our next one. Thanks for watching.